Hi and welcome. This is Marla with Mad About Cards and Crafts and today I am bringing you four cards using the Lazy Day box that is part of the April release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'm going to show you quickly the products that were included in the box. There were three stamp sets, an ephemera pack, two paper pads, and a sequin mix. I will not be using the sequin mix today. In addition, I'm using the Swiss Dot Embossing Folder, the Sentiment Suite Basics and Thinking of You Sentiment Set from the Greetery, and then those Hero Arts Infinity Dies. My first card will feature three of the ephemera pieces and some scraps that I had. I did use the embossing folder on that mint paper, so the paper has been cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to lay out these strips. I am going to lay them a little bit low here, but I will come back when I go to glue them and I will adjust them a little further up on the card because I did want them to take up a little bit more real estate. When I store my paper pads, I do keep them in the plastic envelope folders. And so it makes it easy for me to put my scraps in there. I did create a video for the hop where I shared, I didn't create, but I did share four other cards that I created using the stamp sets. I will link that in the description box below. I would also encourage you to check the playlist in the Not Too Shabby Shop. Uh, channel, the YouTube channel, because there are playlists for each monthly box that is released. So I wanted to use the scraps that I had left over from the uh, hop cards that I had created. And I, if I didn't mention it, I did cut these to a quarter inch, half inch, and eighth inch increments. I did vary the colors, making sure that I broke up the purples and the florals. Once I get this laid down, I am going to trim it off using some Tim Holtz titanium scissors. I don't trim it completely right here. Off camera, I do clean up the spots that you can still see from behind. I was just trying to get a rough cut to see where I wanted my ephemera pieces to go. That's one of the things that's really nice about this box and other boxes that Jamie releases is that she does include ephemera pieces. They, these came with a very wide white border and I did fussy cut around and cut off some of that white border because I thought they took up just a little bit too much real estate on my card. I'm a terrible cutter, so you know that if I was able to fussy cut this, you could too. But these ephemera pieces really make quick and easy cards. The four cards that I created today are a great way to let somebody you care about know that you're thinking about them. It would be a great way to send a card to get a pedicure or maybe a spa card to somebody that has a birthday coming up and just let them know that uh, you want them to pamper themselves. All of my cards are going to be top folding cards. I do have a card base. It's Nina Solar White 110 pound card stock and I'm going to glue this panel directly down to that card base. Then I'm going to take one of the dies from that greetery die set that I shared and I'm going to use some Versamark ink and use the sentiment from the time to relax that says pamper yourself. I'm going to add a couple of little foam dots to the top of that and then I'm going to adhere that to the top left of this card and that is going to be card number one. Oh, no foam dots here, just a piece of foam strip. I used the dots on another one of those banners. I'm going to line this up carefully, and there we have it, card number one. All right, on to card number two. Card number two, again, I trimmed all of the ephemera pieces. I try to do odd numbers when I'm creating with any type of... Uh, element, whether it be a die cut or an ephemera piece. I did cut that pattern paper to four by five and a quarter, and then I cut the purple layer an eighth inch larger. My card base is going to be that same mint pattern paper, top folding four and a quarter by five and a half. You saw that there was a hole in the middle of that purple oval. I did use the Hero Arts Infinity dies to layer up these pieces. I cut 
cut the center out of that purple pattern or the purple solid paper so that I could use it on another card. So you're going to see that center piece that will come into play in just a few minutes. I am aligning this into the, onto the center of my card. I love those two floral papers together. I just think that they're absolutely stunning. I'm going to take three of the ephemera pieces and I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of them. That yellow floral, I am only going to add one piece of foam tape right down the middle because I do know that I want to pop up the other two florals and they're going to need to tuck underneath. So when you want to tuck something underneath, you want to make sure if there's dimension on all of the pieces that you leave room for that, which is why I don't add the foam tape to the backside, the full backside of that yellow flower. I did put the piece of chocolate candy over to the left right now, but I am going to move it over to the right. I think that it balanced just a little bit more. So once I get the foam tape on, I'm going to start adhering these. I do try to keep things in odd numbers, so you'll notice that I have three florals, but I have four of the other elements over at the top. That makes a total of seven, which is still going to be an odd number. I don't always do it this way, but I would say 99% of the time I do try to balance things out by using odd numbers. And that little teacup is absolutely beautiful. It, um, it could be tea or coffee, I guess. And this would uh, also make a good card to put maybe a Starbucks gift card or something like that. This candle right here has a sentiment on it. So that is going to be my sentiment for the card. I didn't do, I didn't add an additional sentiment to this. So it was really quick and easy. And once I get these tucked, this is going to be card number two. Card number three, I decided to go with inches. So I had still some leftover pattern paper that I wanted to use. And I decided that I was going to cut the different pattern papers that I had already used into one inch squares. And then I took some black cardstock and I cut them down to one and a quarter inch squares. I adhered the pattern paper to the center of the black one and a quarter inch squares and those are my inches for my card. So I'm going to be able to fit 12 of them onto this top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I am not a perfectionist by any means. I know this might drive some of you crazy and I'm going to apologize in advance because this is not going to be perfect. It's going to be um, eyed. That's the way I do things and I'm going to get it as even as I possibly can without having to take time measuring it. So once I get it laid out the way that I want it, I am going to use my art glitter glue. I'm going to glue everything down. And once I glue the, these pieces down, I'm going to take another piece of the ephemera. It's one of the larger pieces. It has a stack of books, some glasses, the coffee or teacup, on there and I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of it. I will use the greetery little die. I really like that little sentiment set because they're very small sentiments so you can add a sentiment to the front of your card without it overpowering the composition that you've created using the pattern paper and the ephemera pieces so that's why I chose to go with that particular set. And once I release the paper, I'm going to put this in the center of my card. Oh yeah, there's mac macaroons on there as well. I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And once I get that stamped, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Sorry, that happens frequently. I'm going to add the pieces of foam to the back. I did use Versamark ink. And I'm going to tuck it up here, and that is going to be card number three.
Now we're going to move to card number four. Again, I've cut a piece of the pattern paper to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to glue that directly to my top folding card base. That's Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I did emboss that oval, which came from the previous card that I created and I've glued that directly to my card. I'm gonna add some foam tape to this swag. That is another beautiful ephemera piece in this collection. And then I'm going to glue my elements down around that swag and I'm gonna tuck the girl in the couch. Isn't that cute? Oh, those the, the ephemera pieces in this are just absolutely beautiful. And the pattern paper was uh, and I believe maybe the ephemera pieces as well were designed by Teresa Russell. These are just, just fabulous, just super fun. I, I love the way that this collection came together. I thought it would be nice to put a flag above the girl's head. That little flag or banner is going to say, thinking of you. And that is going to be my fourth card. Actually, no, that isn't the finish of my fourth card. I decided that it was still a little bit plain at the bottom, even though I do love that floral paper with the coffee cup and the bow. I wanted to add another paper strip across the bottom of it because I thought that it needed to be broken up a little. So I took another scrap piece of paper and one of the scrap pieces of purple paper and I created just another little element to put at the bottom and that will be my card for today. If you haven't subscribed to the Not Too Shabby Shop channel, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Mad About Cards and Crafts, please make sure that you subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're notified. I I will have all the products listed in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Here's some close-ups. Until next time, have a fabulous day.